plane has an open cockpit and you're subject to the icy drenching rain, bitter winds and other awful weather. Flying is difficult and uncomfortable. You can't move around or stretch for hours, sometimes days. The engine's so loud you can't communicate with your navigator and wireless operator besides writing notes that were passed around on the end of a stick between you and your rear cabin crew. You often flew over large expanses of ocean with no points of reference, made worse from your phobia of water. Sir Charles Edward Kingsford Smith, also known as Smithy, was a world-renowned Australian aviation pioneer. He was born in Brisbane, February 1897, and from a fairly young age wanted to be a pilot. To his parents he wrote, I have discovered one thing about flying, and that is that my future, for whatever it may be worth, is bound up with it. He became one of Australia's finest and most well-known aviators. He dedicated his life to breaking flight records to show the plausibility of mail and air passenger services. Kingsford Smith contributed much to aviation history and achieved numerous aviation feats that led to his worldwide recognition. These include May 1928, Kingsford Smith along with Charles Um, the co-pilot, Harry Loyne, the navigator, and Jim Warner, the radio operator, earned global fame when they flew their plane, the Southern Cross, to Brisbane from Oakland via Hawaii and Fiji in order to complete the first non-stop flight across the Pacific. The flight lasted 83 hours and 38 minutes and when they landed at Eagle Palm Airport they were met by 300,000 people including the state governor and governor general. August 1928, Kingsford Smith became the first person to fly non-stop across Australia. September 1928, he piloted the first aerial crossing of the Tasman to New Zealand and also the first flight from New Zealand to Australia. 1929, Kingsford Smith broke another record when he flew from Sydney to London in 12 days and 18 hours. He also completed the first round the world flight, flying from London to New York, San Francisco and landing in London again. It took 12 days, 18 hours. 1930, Kingsford Smith won the 16,000 kilometre solo England to Australia air race, which took 9 days, 22 hours flying in the Southern Cross Junior. June 1930, Kingsford Smith completed an east-west crossing of the Atlantic to Newfoundland from Ireland in 31 and a half hours. May 1931, he made the first postal flight from Eng Australia to England and back carrying Christmas mail. 1932, Kingsford Smith was knighted for his contributions to flight. 1933, he again broke the England to Australia record, taking seven days and four hours. 1933, he held the most world records for long distance flights in the world. 1933 and 34, he continued breaking records each time he flew between Australia and New Zealand. 1934, Kingsford Smith completed the first east to west crossing of, in, of the Pacific, flying to America from Australia. Sadly, in November 1935, while trying to break yet another record, Kingsford Smith and his co-pilot Tommy Pethybridge were lost at sea when their plane crashed in typhoon weather over the Bay of Bengal near Burma. Kingsford Smith broke and set more record times for transoceanic and intercontinental flights than any pilot in his time. And he was instrumental in establishing the foundations for regular commercial flights and flights to transport mail between Australia and the rest of the world. Most importantly, Kingsford Smith was reducing the figurative distance between Australia and the rest of the world, which for 150 years had hampered Australia's development. He devoted his life to making inter- and transcontinental air transport possible for all Australians. His contributions to aviation had placed him amongst the world's most prominent pioneers. Sir Charles Kingsford Smith is an inspiration to Australian people in the 1920s, 1930s and now. He is a source of national pride. He is an Australian hero famous all around the world that united the country. He allowed Australia to be recognised on its own and not just as part of the British Empire for the country's contribution to the pioneering of aviation and for our national character traits of bravery and nature.